Now what I would like to show you is for your hip pain. And I know it can be on the right hip, lip, hip, left hip, or both. Now I've got my clothes on obviously, but I just want to show you the concept behind where to put electrodes for your hip pain. Now because your hip area is larger than certain areas like an elbow, we may want to use, and this is something our staff will work with you, uh, we may want to use larger surface electrodes and that's simply because the area we're treating your hip is larger. Now a lot of times if we're using interferential we're going to use a three inch round and that's probably fine. But just to give you an example, on my hip, let's say right here which would be is my left hand side, that I'm having pain right here in the joint area. I would take one example, and we have another video on this that may help you better. You're going to palpate to see where, palpate means just press, where am I hurting? A lot of times it's sort of right here, there's a sciatic notch, but if you're pressed there with your finger, you, wow, you jump up because it hurts. That's very typical of hip pain. That's also a place that you would take one of your electrodes. You've got a very sensitive spot. You touch it, it radiates all over. Put an electrode there. Great place. Now, because the pain's there and it's deep, we may want to take the other electrode and go to the front, right on our leg, here. Now, why did we do that for your hip pain? Because electricity is flowing this way, through the target area where you're feeling it. Now, at the same time, we may, and you can do this with tens or interferential, we may want to go and put an electrode here on the outside edge and we may want to put another electrode up here higher. That's on the same channel. Why did we do that? Boom, electric, electricity goes, you have a sensation. Boom, back up this way. Boom, 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 boom. What you're feeling is we're deadening the pain in your hip because of that. Now, one of the things you could also consider doing, see where this is on the outside edge, outside edge? Take it off, put it on the inside of your leg. Now, you're dissecting through that area. Electricity is going to take path of least resistance. Electricity looks for water, anything with moisture in it, because that's very conductive. We take advantage of your own anatomy to accomplish our task. But that would be an example of electrode placement for hip pain.